Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. On the evening of March 12th, the assistant chief of the Millard Volunteer Fire Department in Pike County, Hank Simpson, had several people asking him about a commotion beside the road a couple miles below Fish Trap Dam. But when he arrived, he was surprised by what he found. I said, what's going on? And they said, we, we spotted an eagle on the side of the bank here that someone had seen crossing the road injured. So I stopped and jumped out and kind of looked at it and uh, was wondering how can we help it. The young bald eagle was still very much alert, so catching the eagle without further injuring him or a fireman wasn't easy. Uh, we set up some lights and we proceeded down to retrieve the injured eagle. And basically from there, we put it in a net and uh, contacted the game wardens. And we set up a point where we can meet them. The bald eagle, who was named Jefferson, is now at the Liberty Nature Center in Somerset and is expected to make a full recovery. He has been seen by four veterinarians, including a specialist in Louisville, who has concluded that Jefferson's injuries were caused by another animal, most likely a fight with another bald eagle. To help pay for his vet bills, a GoFundMe page has been set up, and every donation is appreciated. Officials at the Liberty Nature Center say that Jefferson is continuing to make progress and will hopefully be released soon back to his home at Fish Trap Lake. In Pike County, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.